Bonjour. Today, if you watch the tour very carefully, you will probably see members of my family waving as the tour goes through my native region of Anjou. My region is, of course, very beautiful. There is a lot of small farm. It is south of the Loire. There is plenty of water to water the gardens, and everything grows well. But the farmers also specialize in meat, in beef in particular, and in pork meat, and they make the best charcuterie. In our family garden, my father grew all kinds of fruits and vegetables, and during the summer, my grandmother would make some fruit tarts and tartlets. We have all learned to make them, and my brother, Francois de Gendarme, makes a very, very good raspberry tartlet. The tartlet au framboise. To make the tartlet, you need a sweet pastry made of flour, sugar, eggs, butter, and almonds that you roll very thinly. A thin pastry is much nicer. Cut the pastry into shapes so they will fit into the tartlet molds. Then line the tartlet molds with the pastry. Cut the excess pastry. Don't worry too much about the details. It can look a little bit rustic. Je fais ça avec mes mains, c'est plus facile. The cooking of the tartlet takes about 10 minutes. Then make a crème pâtissière. It is a custard. For that, you separate two eggs. Alors ça, c'est difficile. Il faut faire très attention de ne pas casser le jaune. Then you add 50 grams of caster sugar. You mix this very well with a little bit of vanilla pod. Then you add a little quantity of flour, about 25 grams. And you mix that until it is smooth. Ça, c'est bon. C'est du bon exercice. Then pour some hot milk over this, mix well, and transfer back into a small saucepan, and cook on medium heat until the crème pâtissière thickens. Il faut pas que ça cuise trop vite parce que ça va brûler. Now, we are using that crème pâtissière cold, so you let it cool, and just before using it, mix in a little bit of whipped cream. Spoon a teaspoon of that preparation into the cooked tartlet molds. Alors ça, c'est l'étape favorite. Garnish that well, then after that, place the fresh raspberries one by one to create a very beautiful pattern on top of the crème pâtissière. J'aime beaucoup mettre les framboises Dans les tartelettes. To finish the tarts, you need to brush a little apricot jam that has been diluted with a little water over the fruits. Je, je suis un artiste. <laughs> and of course, Francois always tastes one tartlet before he serves it to us. C'est bon. Christian, there is lots of different kinds of wines in Anjou. Is there something that you can recommend with uh, raspberry tartlets? There is a great diversity of wine produced in Anjou. In fact, it is France's most, one of the most diverse wine region, producing dry, medium dry, sweet wine, and even good sparkling wine. But it's not until you go to the Léon Valley that you find some of France's most exciting sweet wine. The way they achieve the sweetness there is using the noble rot fungus, which just concentrates the juices, the sugars and the acid. Well, tomorrow, Philippe Mouchel will prepare for us a dish of pan-fried salmon with the very, very, very delicious beurre blanc sauce. Until then, à demain.